Hi friends! This week in art, we're gonna learn about a famous artist. But before I tell you about her, I wanna tell you a little bit about something that happened in my yard recently. Well, last fall, I planted some seed, these big seeds, they're, they're about this big around and they look kinda of like an onion. They're all dried up and they're called bulbs. Well, I thought I would try to see what I could grow from them. So I planted 75 of them in my front yard in the flower beds. And then guess what? Recently, they started coming up out of the ground and they're these beautiful flowers. And I'm gonna show you some pictures of those in a minute. But anyway, I planted the bulbs and I was so excited to see them bloom this spring now that the weather's getting a little bit warmer. Hi friends! Here I am outside at my house. It's kind of a weird day today. You know, spring in Utah is weird. It's kind of sunny, but also cold out here. But I just wanted to show you some things in my yard. Here they are. This is my beautiful flower bed. So I planted all these flowers and they came up this spring in the last couple of weeks. They popped their heads through the dirt and here they are, these beautiful, beautiful flowers. These pink and purple and white ones all along this edge right here. Those are called hyacinth and they smell delicious. Like really, really good, really sweet. And then those yellow ones back there in the back, those are called daffodils. So they're all spring flowers and they're gonna be blooming for just a few weeks and then they'll die off and then I'll plant some different flowers. But I just wanted to tell you something about flowers. Have you, I know they look really, really pretty right here from a distance, but have you ever looked really close at a flower? I mean, super close up. It is so amazing. I'm gonna show you. Look at these hyacinths, like really close up. What do you notice about them? Are they all just one color of pink? No, there's so many other colors in there. I see some orange in there too, and some green, and lots of colors. And here's a light pink one that's almost white. And here's one that is kind of light yellow and white. And then look at this purple one. Just look so, so, so close at it. Isn't it so beautiful? When you look really close, do you see all those tiny little seeds inside of it? Like right in the middle, there's little tiny yellow circles that are seeds. So it's really amazing to look at flowers close up. Let's go look at a daffodil. Here's some over here too. Okay, look at this beautiful daffodil. What do you notice about it? Look at its edges around the center. They're all frilly like lace. They're bumpy and beautiful. Look at the inside. What do you see in there? If you look that close, you're gonna see that long skinny thing in the middle. And it even has, if you look super close at it, you'll see there's even some little fuzzy stuff on it. Isn't that amazing? Well, there's a famous artist. She also loved flowers because I love flowers too. And she loved to look at them really close. Have you ever stopped to look at a flower really close? Well, they can be so beautiful. So she would look at flowers really close. And then when she was done looking at them, she would paint what she saw. And if you look really close, you're gonna see lots of details that you wouldn't notice from far away. So she would paint one flower on one painting and one painting could have just one giant flower on it. The flower would be so big, it would like take up the whole painting. And she would have lots of beautiful colors and shapes in there. And maybe you'd have to look at it really close to think, well, what exactly is that? And then you think, oh, that's like a flower close up. Isn't it cool that we have cell phones nowadays because we can take pictures of flowers really close up that look really beautiful and detailed. So friends, we're gonna have lots of fun this week painting some big flowers. And the other thing that she liked to paint sometimes was she liked to go out in the desert where she lived and she could paint things that she found there. She loved to paint things in nature. So if she found like some dried up old bones out in the desert, she'd paint pictures of those too. And she was a famous artist and her name is Georgia O'Keeffe. Let's learn about Georgia.
remember I were talking about the famous artist, Georgia O'Keeffe. We're gonna learn a little bit about her and do some art like she does. Remember how she loves flowers and she likes to paint things really big till it fills up the whole page? Well, here's a couple pictures of some of her art. That seashell, and this is like the inside of a flower. And here's a couple more of her paintings. Notice how she almost fills the whole page with the flower. And this is one of a cow skull that she found in the desert. She liked to paint things that she found in nature, even bones, and she made them look beautiful. And here's a picture of Georgia O'Keeffe. She painted for many, many years until she was an old lady with white hair. She painted almost until the time that she passed away in her 90s. So she was a great artist who loved to paint nature and beautiful flowers. So friends, today we're going to paint just like Georgia O'Keeffe. We're gonna paint a really big flower. Here's a couple samples of some Georgia O'Keeffe flowers that other students have done. These were done with oil pastels, but notice how this flower goes off the page. It's so big, it covers the whole entire art page. And then here's another one that was done with oil pastels. We just have to make sure that we make our flowers really big and then it'll be like Georgia O'Keeffe flowers. So friends, let's get to it. Okay friends, we're going to learn how to paint a different way. We're not using actual paints but we're going to be using just regular markers and water and we can paint a beautiful colorful flower like this one that fills the whole page like George O'Keefe. And here's a different one I painted. Remember the daffodils we saw outside? I made this one to look like a daffodil. So I'm going to show you how to do this and if you don't want to paint yours you can always do it with pastels if you prefer or even watercolor pastels and you can do the same technique. But I'm going to try these markers today. So all you'll need is some markers, a paintbrush, and some water. And that's what we need for this project. So first of all, you take your markers and you draw your flower. Make sure that you draw it really big so it fills the whole page. You can draw any kind of flower, one with petals or one more like this that's more like a rose with just curvy lines going round and round in circles. Or you could make one more like this with pointy petals going all the way out. This one's done with pastels. If you'd rather do that, you can. So just get your markers and start drawing the basic shape of your flower. Then you just get your water and dip your brush in and then you just start getting it wet and it turns to paint. Okay friends, there we have it. Our big, bold, bright and beautiful flowers. I hope you guys had fun trying this new way of painting with markers and that you enjoyed making these Georgia O'Keeffe flowers. I sure did. See you again next time.